Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream once more. Yesterday we did a little bit. Messed around and kind of looted a, a good amount of stuff. We found a nice new town. We found a couple new towns. Uh, and a third one that we have not yet even looked at. Uh, the smaller, like, western-style town didn't have much in it in Seven Days to Die. But we did find, like, three working stiffs and a police station at this new town. So we're going to move our base up there. So let's go ahead and get started on that. And like I said at the end of the last stream, we're going to spend today moving our base up north. But also, we're going to be spending the Horde Night at our current base, just to, you know, have a place that's well defended and ready to survive, basically, right? We, we don't want to have our new base, have it be partially built, and then be like, oh, crap, well, I guess we're screwed, you know? Regardless, we need to start building. Get moving on. Get our stuff ready, you know. Uh, and actually, we might not even be able to move yet. Now that I think about it. Because we would need wood. Or at least a bunch of concrete, right? Because if we have concrete, we can use... We can just make straight-up concrete blocks. But if we were to make wood and then cobble and then... I think it's concrete after that. Uh, we would have to a bunch of wood and we don't have much wood right now so that is what is unfortunate um so what we'll do right now let's go ahead and grab our axe and i'm also going to grab our claw hammer just in case um and let's grab the we have cement sand and what else do i need for concrete i need stone which i have plenty of in my inventory right now so if I wanted to make cement, how much could I make? I can make 600 cement, and then cement shapes take 10. So I can make 60 of these right now. And the limiting factor is sand, which we can get plenty of over there. Um, yeah. We're also getting 200 extra cement there, so we might have enough concrete to last us a little bit um, over there. And then I would like to make a vault door as well, which we have forged steel, springs, and what else was it? Mechanical parts. Go ahead and make a couple of those. So we'll make... Oh, forged steel is my limiting factor right now. Okay. We'll make one of those. We can make forged steel a little bit later as well, so it's not too big of a deal right now. Um, all right, we got that going. Let's go ahead and put this stuff away for right now. I don't need to have it with me right at this moment. And this will just go until it's done. All right. <clears throat> so here's what we will do right now. First of all, let's hop on our mini bike. And let's go talk to the trader real fast. Actually, no. The trader's still closed. But instead of what we'll do, we're going to just start cutting down trees. Although, I have a hand injury. Does this hurt? Nope, it doesn't look like it. So what, what, would, what would hurt? Ranged arm. Next time to heal. Ranged or power attacks will deal healing, a delay healing. So if I use a bow or a power attack, it'll take longer. But if I use an axe to chop down a tree, my hand is like, oh, we're okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Works for me. I figure right now we'll go ahead and spend the day just chopping down a tree, uh, getting some wood until the trader opens. Okay. And then when they do open. We'll go sell this uh, armor that we have. See if there's anything we want to buy here. And we'll also collect our tokens from this. Because uh, their stuff should have renewed today. I have a cap point, right? But what I could do... I could put a point in Motherlode. 
would give me a lot more of the uh, gold, not gold, <laughs> uh, wood. So let's do that. We're getting 19 wood per hit on the tree now, so pretty good. I don't know what we were getting before. Maybe I should have compared it, but regardless, <clears throat> it should have gone up. Also, I realized last time we got a uh, a purple hammer, and ours is currently green, and I threw that purple hammer away, or I sold it, actually. But I should have, I guess, held on to it. I wasn't sure what it was, and really the hammer's only used for building things, so the durability or the, the quality of it doesn't really matter, you know? My stamina is not going down like at all, huh? I wonder why it's like so good right now. It's strange. I'm not complaining, but it's strange that I'm not losing, man. My stamina. I collected 2,000 wood just from this little group in here. Cutting trees is much more lucrative in terms of experience than, say, mining. Which I guess, since rock is in fact like, useful, um, it does make sense that its experience value is lower. But also, I'm, I'm just hammering away at these trees. Like, I've not had to stop to re-catch my breath, which is great. Was minor? Not minor. It's minor. Does a Motherload doesn't change the stamina cost, right? No, it just I harvest forty percent more. Previously, I was doing twenty percent more. So, I guess you could try to do the math if you wanted to figure out how much I was doing before. Or just look at the bot, I guess. Okay. After the next tree, I think we'll go back to the trader. Magic 630 number here. This one tree. And then that one, and then we'll go back. Right. Right. We have... 32 and 16 these. That'd be a... Uh, 32 divided by 2 is uh, 16. And then... 16 divided by 2 is 8. So 16 plus 8 is... 24. We just chopped down 24 trees in like 2 hours. And got... 5,000 wood. Hopefully. Alright. Since this town 
and the trader don't really have much for us to do here. I think what we'll do is we're just going to take all of our stuff that's here, namely the tokens, and we're just going to abandon the lady here. Because uh, we don't really want to come down to this town after we move much. I'm sure if we need gas, it's a good place to come to. But right now, moving here doesn't really do much for us. I'm sure she has tier 2 quest, but we can get that quite easily at the other guy. So it's not that big of a deal. Anything respawn? No. Oh, this one did. Sweet. Does the trash not respawn? Maybe? Let me check the other stuff here. Purge, you got anything? Nope. Nope. Why did that one respawn, but the other stuff didn't? Oh, this did. Take the blue. Fire, did you respawn? Okay. We've got hey, the best prices in the wasteland. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and sell you this armor. And then what do you have? A magazine extender. That's interesting. I haven't seen that yet. I might buy that. What else do you have? Magnum Enforcer. Flash shot in the chamber does double damage. That's neat. AP round, paintbrush, wood splitter mod. I think I already have that. The Great Heist. Learn how to craft timed charges. Oh. I might get that, to be honest. Ooh, a beaker? Okay, buy that real quick. I need that to craft uh, chemistry bench and stuff like that. We have an iron crossbow and an AK-47. I could just buy this. I might buy the AK-47 right now just to have it for a horde knight here. But I'll hold off for right now until we see what else they got. Could go ahead and get all the cement. Be useful. Um Yeah, so I'll tell you what. Let's go let's go to the AK-47. That way we have uh, an amount that we know is total here. And then let's get the concrete. Go. And something else that I want to get real quick. I could get this gunpowder. Uh, never hurts to have extra gunpowder. What else was I short on? Anything? Not really anything here. What else do you have in this great heist? I might as well buy that. Real quick, Magnum Enforcer, might as well buy that to have it, just to get rid of the stuff that we don't really need right now. Or get rid of having a stack of extra stack of tokens. Let's get the uh, Magazine Extender mod. I don't need any of that. I could get another Generator Bank. But I'm not sure if I need multiple. I think one might do me, which is just fine. I already got one. What else we got here? I don't know how much duct tape I have. I could get more cement. Let's do that. And I think we're good here, so. Well, you just brightened my day. All right, Jen, you're beautiful. You. Thank you. I'll be back one more time to finish the quest that you gave me. And that'll be the last time we see you for a while. Go ahead and get back on our bike. <clears throat> Over here with the split. I think we're just going to cut down more trees. To be honest. We're going to spend today cutting trees. When night falls, we'll go ahead and hit up this power station, which is right there. So yeah, we're pretty close to it. Actually, wasn't that a warehouse? No. That was... Yeah, that's the postal station area. Where we had to get on top of the postal station and jump across. And then, yeah. 
to the warehouse. Okay. Last time we went there, we uh, kind of got in bad shape, though. That was not good. But we'll have to be careful what we're doing. I'm just going to leave the bike here right now. And I always get turned around when I get off the bike. I'm going to go ahead and just dump stuff that we got here. I'll leave that stuff there for now. Um, let's go ahead and use this. Use this. I'm going to put the extended mag mod. Actually, can I just put it on this? I can. Excellent. Do I have any other things that I can put on this, uh... So my auto, full auto, bipod? I don't think the bipod can go on the AK. Diverts this and reduces... Recoil. That'd be great to have on the AK. Excellent. Alright. Let's store the AK. Uh, store those bullets. Store the gunpowder. In here. Store this stuff. And the glue. Chemistry station needs a beaker, forged iron, cooking pots. Okay, so I basically need a bunch of forged iron. Can't use it quite yet. So we'll toss that there, toss that there. Now let's check the forge so we're not wasting wood. Oh yeah, we got a long time left. Let's just walk away for now. Alright, we got plenty of daylight left to continue hammering away at trees, so let's do it. Gonna be a little bit boring for the first, you know, like 30 minutes here. More. That's all we're gonna be doing is cutting down wood. I wanna check the mailbox. I don't think anything spawned, but it never hurts to check. Oh! You know. I was gonna learn this. I already know it, I'm pretty sure, but I'm just gonna learn it just so I don't have to trade it later. Wait a moment till my stamina is maxed out here. So what are we going to do next level? I guess that is the question. We could go back to intelligence and focus on trying to get Grease Monkey and advanced uh, engineering or whatever higher up, right? With those higher, we can get a motorcycle, a 4x4. We can get uh, better traps and stuff. Nice, because I think our next place we're gonna deck out in trash. We're gonna make it beautiful, you know. Who's that the plan? Oh, I didn't know you could like walk up a felled tree. That's interesting. It actually had a hitbox. Take this tree out too. Looks like it's dying, so. Not gonna grow anymore. Bye, tree. Alright. Next up. How much experience do we need to level, I wonder? I need 15,000. So, one tree gives me. Let's see. Three hundred and thirty-three experience, right? So, fifteen thousand divided by three hundred thirty-three is forty-five. So I need forty-five trees in order to level up. Let's see if it gives me the same amount of experience. It looks like it's a little different now. Maybe is it always three hundred thirty-three? It is. Okay. good to know. Well, at least when we move, we will have a bunch of wood 
and a bunch of seeds we can use to replant our garden, which would be nice. My garden, I mean. Freeze. Speaking of garden, I should probably check my garden, now that I'm talking about that. And I'm wondering if I couldn't put the... You know when I first got the planters, and I tried to plant them underground, right? Um, and they wouldn't let me put them underground. I wonder if there's a condition where it has to have a roof over it or not. Because if I could get away with putting the planters in my new base, I'd probably use them a lot more. But I just forget that they're over there half the time. But if I could see them every time I came to the base, I could check them and be like, oh, just ready to harvest, you know? Might try to do that. The area is so peaceful. So, like, we haven't had any attention from zombies since we've been out here popping away. We rarely see zombies near the base. Great. Sorry, I had to clean my asses there. Okay. Nice. What'll be nice about being on the edge of the desert, too, is that we can just go and dig anywhere and get sand. And doing that, we can get easily the um, sand we need to make concrete. So that'll help a lot as well. And then we can just dig into the ground for rocks, turn that to cement, then use the cement and rocks and sand that we get all nearby that's locally sourced to get concrete in order to make more building materials so that's gonna be great as for why i'm chopping down a bunch of trees if we're going to be making things out of concrete well Concrete, I cannot make a bunch of right now. So, figure the plan will be. What's that? <coughs> Excuse me. I sneeze. So, the plan will be I'm going to make a nice wooden floor for my base, right? And since I don't want to bother with having to dig into the ground, I'll actually be using the floor as the first level above the ground here. So I'll, I'll basically just keep placing a block on top of this is what it'll be like. And then I will use cement to go around that on the outside and up to form the walls. And that'll be like the, uh, the interior bunker area. And then the outside that I'll be doing. I'll probably be using a... Oh, I'm finally out of stamina. Uh, so for the outside... I might do more cement if I have it to make a wall sort of like what we have here. Like one opening to make a cabinet. at. Or what I could do is I could make a cement or cobblestone wall like we have currently uh, at that area, right? So it kind of depends upon what materials I have on hand. And of course, we'll need all this wood for spikes and traps and stuff like that. And, you know. Never has been enough. We almost got two stacks. So it was uh, 6,000 is the stack limit. I swear it used to be 10,000 back in the day. You know, all this right here that we're looking at right now used to be a forest. Uh, I'm thirsty. I think I still have some water in my inventory, actually. Nope, I used it. Well, that's fine. I 
seem to be running out of stamina now. Let me wait for it to regen. Maybe I'm just getting low because of the constant woodcutting I've been doing. Also, I have been sprinting towards trees, so that's another thing. That's been taking it down, I guess. Sorry, I needed to grab a Kleenex. Sneeze made my nose a bit runny. Okay. I think it's been a couple of days since we checked the, the radio tower, right? Maybe we can go there and see if it's got any loot as well today. After we finish chopping down all these trees, we got uh, just a little cluster left, really. Oh, this one tree was hiding like 10 more. Well, that's fine. All right. Ah. And one of the factors, I guess, of my stamina draining a little bit quicker and not regenerating quite as fast is the fact that I'm thirsty here. But I feel like I almost feel like me having my limb being like regenerating uh, was taking a, uh, a little bit of stamina from me. Like it's, all, it's almost like when my arm was broken and getting fixed, I was doing less damage to the trees or something. So it was taking less stamina. I don't know. It seems weird. Let's uh, work counterclockwise here. That way when we finish we'll be closer to the base. We won't have to walk as far. I don't see if there's any animals around we can take out quick. This little tree here. Okay, I'm not gonna go over there. Oh, I don't need to worry about that one. Now that we're both hungry and thirsty, our stamina is gonna just take a huge dive. Not great. I'll let it regen a little bit. Man. So we're getting roughly two. I'm not sure why we have five oak seeds for that one. Maybe we got a lucky three, or maybe we only got one from one of them, but we seem to be getting two um, pine seeds, at least, every time we cut out a tree. So we can easily see how many trees we actually cut down. Which will be nice. Also, wouldn't it be cool if we actually had trees that grew this fast in real life, but it only took them like, what, less than seven days to mature fully? I'm gonna start back at this one and go around and loop that way. We could definitely solve some uh, problems in the world if we had trees that grew this fast. Plant a bunch, drastically reduce the CO2 in the air, all that good jazz. Hell, we could probably even take them into space and 
help the colonize planet and stuff with it. As long as we have water for them, I guess. We got our path back to the base there. Man. Ready with your helmet stamina recover. Okay, so yeah, the, the water thirst is what's messing me up now. You know, I didn't think I'd level up for cutting down all the trees, but we are like a hair's breadth away. In fact, this one tree might do it. Let's get my stamina back up and we'll keep cutting down the last three trees. Hey, there we go. <coughs> All right. What should we put our new stat point into? We could also go Lucky Looter as well. In fact, I'm tempted to do that. Let's go ahead and do that for right now. Sure, we could have put it in, you know, Miner 69 or to cut down the trees faster, or we could have invested in intelligence. But I like loot. Loot is always great, right? Loot is king, as they say. Okay. Last tree. Three sixty. Oh, didn't have stamina regen as soon as I thought I would. I'm gonna do a three pick, a three sixty, three cut there. Whatever. All right. So we have. What is that? Uh, eight hours? No. Yeah, eight hours before night comes, and we can go do that power station generator restoration thing. Eight hours. And how much wood did we get? Oh man, we almost got three stacks of wood. Actually, we will have three stacks after we look down and see what we have uh, over here. I think I still have some in the uh, forge and the campfire and stuff like that. That, and then... Forged steel, forged iron, clay, it looks like. Let's put that stuff in there. Right now, I just need clay to finish this iron. All right, let's go ahead and store these in here. Put this in there. it take for one? It takes 31 iron to make that. How much clay? It takes 15 clay. Let me just combine those two. There we go. I'll make one of those and then 
can make a lead. We can make some sand. We can empty out this forge real quick. Okay, add in there, toss it there. Toss the full stacks of wood there. Right, so let's see, we chopped down, if we take into consideration all of the... Oh, we already had some pine cones there, but we can still estimate. So, 148 uh, divided by 2 means we cut down roughly 70 trees. The total is 74, but if we take into consideration how many we had here before, roughly 70 would be the math. And then uh, 10 of the oak trees. That's basically how many we cut down. Not bad. We cut down quite a lot. Okay, I don't think I need any more of the uh, clay to be melted down. That's just going to cause some issues. Well, that stuff will be processing. This stuff's there. I've got to remember to grab that. I'm also probably not going to cut anything else here. Can I... Why can't I take these back? Oh, because I think I have it queued up. That's right. Give me that. Well, let's turn this on then. I can finish making these nonsense things. All right. As for food, uh, let's go ahead and eat some bacon and eggs. And drink a bunch of water. One more. 125 is a weird number to stack, too, but okay. Alright, everything is out. Um, let's go ahead and make iron. We'll make these stones. And we'll make this clay. Kind of finish everything off here. I never even used this dump chest, huh? I wish I could pick this stuff back up. If I chop this down, do I get it back? It just becomes unsecured. I'd love if I would have gotten them back. That means I'm also probably not going to get the forge. Let's see. Seven days to die. Can you pick up a forge after you place it? Okay. So apparently you, you can if you use a wrench to destroy it. So that's a thing. Let's go ahead and take everything out first. And... I'll go ahead and see if that actually is true or not. I just don't want to have to make a new forge, you know? See if I can help it. It's not going to overtax us if we have to do make another one, but... Let's see if nothing else will get resources, so... Oh, didn't work. It must be an outdated thing or something. Restore what we can here, then. We also probably can't get this back. Which is also a shame, because I think the workbench... Takes a lot of forged iron. Yep. Okay. That's great. Three minutes left on that. I'll go ahead and eat this cornbread. Take the goldenrod tea. So much stuff I need to take. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two splints. I'm going to top off our bandages. I'm going to take a med kit. Um, I will take... Let's see. I'm going to grab some of these. I'm going to grab the vitamins. I'm going to go ahead and take a thing of honey. I'm going to take a stack of water. I'm going to use some more water to get my thirst back up as well. Grab my jars here. 
we're at it. So when we do go take over this uh, place, and by take over, I mean we're going to go in and turn the power back on, essentially. What we'll do is I'm taking this stuff in case we hurt our leg or an arm, as we have been doing lately. Med kit in case we have to, you know, fully heal ourselves from like a very bad position. Painkillers in case we get a concussion. The uh, vitamins should prevent us from getting an infection if we do get attacked. And we got our honey in case we still get infected somehow. And then of course we're gonna carry some water and food with us just in case we get hungry along the way. Uh, hopefully that's gonna be the case. But we still got a little while, so. I'm going to turn this off for read. I'm going to cut down on the amount of wood that's in here. Now that I think we'll be gone for long enough for it to burn out, but I'm going to check out the uh, tower here before we get too far gone. One last little raid on it. And you know what we might do is we might actually harvest some uh, resources from here. Before it gets to be night. Like this iron and coal that we have around. All right. Is there just one there, or are there multiple? I forget. Just stay down, sir. Well, looks like stuff replenished, so let's go ahead and just loot the place. Break in the truck. Anything good? Oh, we actually got some bullets for once inside the military thing, so that's cool. Shouldn't have anything in here, right? Nope. Okay. This should just be some gas. Excellent. Uh, purple baton. Nice. I'll just take everything. Matter right now, too badly. Okay, that's everything from here. And there's just the top left, which we have a couple of zombies up there to take down, including ones that are on the roof roof. Try and jump down at us. Maybe. Maybe not. Damn, cut his head clean off. I'd like to see. Okay. Those two are dead. But there's still the ones that are going to be up here. Hey! Maybe not. I can't see it, but anyway. Alright, well, that's everything. From here, nice little amount. Nothing too special, but... Well, we've got a little extra ammunition. We've got some stuff we can scrap. So that's cool. But figure what we'll do now until nightfall. I'm going to go down and turn off my campfire, drop off the gear we have, come back up with a pickaxe, and we'll actually start digging up some of those. At least we can do for now. Push up the door behind us as we go. It's gonna be a shame to leave this place after we built up so much, right? Always sad to see it go, right? Okay. Um, dump everything. Uh, what was, what was that? Uh, was it our iron? Yes, it was. Okay. Let's scrap, 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 scrap. 
Let's uh, do more damage to stun opponents. I'll just learn this. I probably already know it, but I'll learn it. Scrap and bat. I'll just use that. I don't care at this point. That there. Um, we'll just scrap that as well. This stuff here. Wait, wait those wouldn't fit. Ah, I guess not. Alright, put that stuff there. Uh, bullets go there as well. Healing supplies, toss that in there, and then I think I'll just hold off to this food that we have. Murky water away. We'll take these so we can fill them up once we get. Come on, put those over there. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Anything else is crap, okay. Let's grab our pickaxe. Alright. We should have anything we need right now. Close that. Close this, close that. Alright, so let's take our mini bike. I'm gonna go over to this grouping of materials here. Back it up so we can actually go over there. Okay. So we're going to be having some craters here. Let's take all that we can while it's still daylight. As you can see, there's over below these. So we'll be mining out all we can. Because we need a lot of forged iron to complete the rest of our stuff, so. Catch our stamina. Go. I'm not sure how much we have that's going to be ironed down here, though. Also, this is just some clay by digging this up. out. Give her some more of this dirt. Okay. Hard to tell with the, the ground systems they have. What is and is was what is not metal versus ground, right? A stone. Is metal. We'll catch our breath a little bit. Yep. Oh. I'll just stone, but dirt. Had an auger, we wouldn't have to worry about what's dirt versus what's metal. We could just hog it all up, you know. Take that, take that. Okay, we'll go down a little bit further. Looks like iron. Ah, of course it's raining.
think I can still get back up if I go here and then jump from there, right? As you can see, the, the ore sends pretty deep into the ground. So, could uh, go down. All right, let's just take a moment, let our stamina fully recharge, then we'll go at it again. Almost nighttime, so that's good. Fine. There we go. Maximum power attack. Okay. I still get out. And let's dig further. Try not to go over our uh, 600 limit, 6,000 I mean. Maybe one more. One more. Ah, oh, one over. Literally one over. I'm just gonna drop that. That's annoying. Okay. Let's try one of these. I think it's just coal. Yep. And if we get coal, we can combine it with the uh, nitrate powder and get gunpowder. So. It'll be useful to have. It can also be used just to go into campfires or furnaces or whatever. So. Some right? Yep. Okay, so it is almost night. I think we'll go ahead and get a dark on over towards the power generators. will be good. Here's stump. You said it. God dang. The one thing about riding bikes or mini bikes is we don't really stop and get all the bird nests that we can see, right? That's kind of one thing that's not great about it because then we have less eggs, but I guess we could make boiled meat now, so not too big of a problem. Alright, so here is the place we're gonna be. We're gonna go here. I'm gonna stop going as fast as we can. This dog first. Yep, it's down. Now there's zombies be bopping and scatting around. I'm gonna go ahead and take its meat. Ooh, I cut his leg completely off. Mmm, leg meat. And it's not a rotten dog. I can at least do this. Okay. Ow. 
Ow. Rude. Kind of did that to uh, not only get rid of the car, but also lure over zombies that were going to be noisy. And you can see it respawned, so. Alright. Here we're clear. We are. Let's check these real quick. I can't get in through there. Can I get through this one? I can. Okay. Check the mail slots. Clear now. Here. Doors unlocked, but I don't want to. Thought I heard two. Just the one? Nope, I did hear two. God damn it. Where'd you come from, lady? Where'd you come from, sir? Down. Perfect. Close that door. Close that door so we can take a moment to catch our breath in here. Gotta learn everything we have here. Then let's go ahead and bandage ourselves real quick just to get our health to regen. Okay. Finish clear in the front. And then it. Yep. What's that zombie attacking back there? Or the defense back there, ain't there? Not clear them. Activate the star small generator. Quick sweep in here, real fast. I didn't realize I was going to do like a, an event. Water. I'm gonna close that. I'm not coming through here, so let's the tribe. up. Got through something. Right. Alright, so how did I get to the roof of this place again? Is it out the back, or... Oh, right, these. Thanks. I... Probably best to go out this way, huh? I would like to have the roof advantage to me. Of course there was a bird. Come on, Vulture. Come on. Oh, come on. Why am I an idiot? Come on. Come inside. Come on, coward. quick, get some arrows, not arrows, feathers, not that I need them right now or anything, but I'll have them. Come at me! Ow, what? 
I can't believe I missed the first hit. There we go. Dead now. And one more hit. Give me that rotten rash. Oh yeah, stone. It's a rare commodity. Taking that. Alright. We'll just jump across here. If I remember correctly, there were some zombies in here. Definitely some zombies in here. Is. Careful about hitting it though. Because it's a lumberjack as well. Come on, sir. Get into my view so I can hit you. I get like right here. That'll help, right? He really likes to be in areas that I can't see him, huh? Sir, stop hiding. His head is going to be hard, so I'm just going to keep shooting him in the body. Maybe get lucky and hit his head once or twice there. Oh. There we go. He's downed. Alright. I'm just going to noodle in here. Alright, there was one in here over there. Not right now, anyway. Take that. Okay. Let's do this. And boop, boop. And I can just boop. Be standing. There we go. Close. Highly. Okay, so remember, when we were here last time, there was so many people that were uh, jumping around and stuff like that. Yep, I remember them being. And they all kept trying to climb up here. I don't know why there's so many here in this store. It's uh, not great for us. Definitely gonna run out of arrows. If you miss him like that, I will. Oh my god, I missed him by the skin of his dick. There we go. Well, now I can at least... Why is the gun not loaded? She moved right as I shot. It's not my fault. Okay. If I can just slowly but surely kill them all here. And get down there, start the generator and all that without having too much worries. Shoot her in the hip.
Okay, another one down. How do I miss? Why why do I miss like this? Huh? I don't wish I had the AK right now. Oh my god, I just shot there. Yeah. Stop moving around, lady. I think I'm gonna both take all these guys down. Stay so. okay, as I miss. Okay. I don't know how she's not dead yet. She's taking my three bullets. Not the head though, so I'm not the wife. There we go. She's dead now. Another person there. Did I kill that one? Not getting back up. Got her. Nice. That was a great shot. Three assists on myself. Ah, come on. We just had the last moment. Come on, big guy. Where you at? Where you at? go outside too. There he is. I think my crosshairs were too messed up from that. Smacking my loot, dude. There's just a one nurse down there now, right? Wait, that was two hits to your head. Okay, I'm just gonna go down. I think she's the last one left, so... Although now it sounds like there's another person out here. Oh, she's a feral. That's why she didn't go down that quick. Okay. I think they're all dead. So now I'm hungry, of course. So let's go ahead and eat a little bit. Eat three of these, maybe four. Drink a bit. Regenerate our stamina. We'll drink. Let's make sure. Okay, let's toss that. Grab the headlight. Toss the bones. Toss the sand. Toss the plant fibers. Um, I already know this, so I'm just gonna scrap that book. Scrap that burst mod, I don't need that nonsense. Okay. All right. Themes. Put you here. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this. We only have 30 seconds left. 30 minutes, I should say. To get this generator going. That also clear the area. Dog! Fuck off, dog. Bandage. I forgot to take these vitamins, damn it. Not gonna help now, though. I have to use the honey. Thank God I took it. Yeah. Dog. Hey, dog. You want to stop? 
Okay. We win. Somehow. Don't know how. Also, why am I not over encumbered right now, but I like, am sometimes? Weird, right? Deep lacerations. Use a sewing kit, okay? Simple enough. Go ahead and use this. This didn't break anything this time. Always a good sign or improvement, anyway. And it's morning. We got that just in time. I think if I would have been a little bit slower, it actually would have been a real bad scene. Although I don't know why um, turning the generators on in this place was such a big deal. But whatever. Oh, don't I have a perk that I can carry stuff at night easier? Is that why at night my stuff is better? Oh my god. That would make sense, huh? That does. Oh, we got another cast. Excellent. Mr. Snat, I did. looting here, get rid of these bandages. Um, scrap an iron arrow, get rid of the bow. I don't need any more arrows, to be honest. The coffee. Yep. What here? Nothing here. There's a, yeah, a gun rack back here, huh? Yeah, hold on, let's go. Okay, and we're done. Go. All right, let's do our last mission. Get some water. If we look at the map, I think there's water to the north here. Let's grab that. We'll reassess and see if that is indeed a safe place to get water or not. Looks pretty safe. I don't see anything that's going to attack us right away. Change these. Okay, those are filled. Oops, this one. Filled. We got a bath pack here. Okay. There's also a bird nest right here. Or feathers. I need feathers. Don't think we're gonna find anything up there, so we'll just ignore that, and we'll go back. You know, I was kind of concerned that we weren't going to have, um, the whole night spent, so I was like, oh, well, we'll go back and we'll, you know, mine some ore and stuff once we're done here, but like, mm, yeah, no, right? Let me check my boxes here, see if I've forgotten anything in these. Oh, I have. Damn. Let's see. Take the shotgun shells. I don't need the cloth right now. Let's take the military parts. Um, what else is kind of worthless? Those are pretty expensive. I'll hold on to those. Feathers and sand I don't really need right now. Let's take the... Machine gun parts, lead. Oh man, I had some empty bottles there too. Let's see, what else do I want? I don't really care about baton parts. I'm gonna use this halo cream though. I'll also use this and it's here. Oop. Move on. We have another crate down here. If I remember correctly, right in front of the gas station. I think it should be empty, but we'll just check it just in case. Never hurts to check. Okay. That's empty. Perfect. We donuts. What I could do is I could just store some stuff on my bike. And, uh, 
through some other stuff real quick. I'm going to sell these. Let's do that. Okay. Perfect. So, do we want to go out? Let's go to um, O'Leary Auto. How about that? And curbs. Okay. Back up. And hook. Maybe not that one. How about this one? I get through there? No. How about now? Yeah. That's what I'm now. Right. Hup. Oops. Oh, zombie! That's right, stay on the ground, sir. Oh, hey, lady. Okay. Ah, ha. Go. Alright. Water cooler. Cabinet, desk, uh, filing cabinet. I've got all the paper and stuff I can from here while we're waiting. Board night. All right, we have a safe here. And I just got a freaking robotic sledge from that. Nice. Don't underestimate Lucky Looter. Traders is open. We can go back there and turn the quest. Do that here after a moment. Have we finish looting this place, get all the gas and stuff we can from it, you know? There's no sense not looting it, right? Gonna be our last time here, might as well get all we can. <clears throat> get a nice stock of gas, you know? Hard to tell what shelves have what on it, you know? Over really quick, see if I think of, see a prompt come up. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir, you, you can't park here. You just jumped through that door, sir. Okay. Garbage can. <clears throat> okay, before I continue onward, grab that. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. Go ahead and munch on this uh, food. Grab that. Excellent. Let's go. All right, into the bathroom. Some more murky water. Enter's cart. Grab those. Take that. And search the urinals, of course. Who's making all that hissing? Huh? Oh, that guy. And that guy. Take this boy out first. I hear another person hissing at me, so I want to go. be careful. Go ahead and get just jumped down on and my legs eaten. Outside. Oh, where'd you come from, lady? You weirdo. Did you just jump down? Okay, well. Oh, we got a brawler, it looks like. Trying to smack through the door here. I'll help him out a little bit. I feel sorry for him. He's missing his legs. Alright, get to the roof. This guy, so. <laughs> Stop freaking hitting me! Come birds. Okay. Go ahead and use the. Not scrap! I scrapped all my bandages. Oh boy. I just grabbed all my bandages. 
but you gotta be careful what you click on. Sometimes you'll just end up scrapping stuff you don't want to scrap. Always good to stock up on some mechanical parts. Also like to hide stuff there, so good. I just dropped you straight down, huh? Dang. Yep. Oh, that was both of those, huh? Yeah. Yep. I did. Stormy weather. So there's a hatch there. Also, this place I can just jump down to. I think I'll just jump down. That way I can... I don't think he knows I'm here, so... Let's just... Nope, he knows I'm here. Shit. Well, I can't get back up. Let's just drop down. That way he'll uh, come to me. Don't have to worry about him dropping down on me later. Yep. We leveled up too. Nice. Remember this side of the garage door? Yeah. It's a cabinet. Take apart these cars. A little bit of gasoline, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Last time I went down here, there were some envoys. There's one. Oh, 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 oh. He saw me. Try to reload this. So it's loaded at least. Yep. Here, at least another one down there. Is? Yep. Be all of them. Might be one more down in the tunnel area, but we can come to that once we see him. Bird nest fell down there. We got this toolbox here. Blunt. Is there anything down? We got some trash. Oh, okay. Got some dead bodies down here, of course. Uh, I think I already know this, but just learn it anyway. Do that. Crap that. Ooh, a uh, hammer. Anything back there? Nope. Alright, what the load of trunk? What do we got in there? We have urban combat. Learn to craft cigars. I think I already know that, but I'm just gonna learn it anyway. You know how it be. Um, let's go ahead and use the sham well here. Crap those. I'm gonna toss the bone here and take the bullets. Get rid of the arrows and take that as well. Okay. That'd be easier if I just take these out next time I come down here, if I ever come down here again. Also, free metal. So, nice. Go back to the trader and get out of here. Get back home. Make what we can. Time for 
prepare for the horde. The horde should go a lot easier than last time. Um, not only because we kind of have a better idea of what we're doing now, but also because we turned down the horde amounts. It was previously at 12 zombies a night. Now it's only at 8, so it should hopefully give us a little more survivability. I'm not sure how much it will give us. Hawk Hawk. Greater Gen. I love you. Seriously. I mean, the name's Jenny, but you can call me Dr. This Jen. is the uh, last time I will be talking here. I'm going to throw these bandages away. I'm going to take this baseball bat so I can trade it to you. And get my stuff up a little bit. I don't need this flashlight for the weapon mod. I already have a flashlight in my head, so that's fine. Um, anything else I want to give you? How about these? Take this lead battery, too. I don't need that one right now. Um, this robot X ledge. I don't know. I don't know if I want to have it, to be honest, because it's it's a melee thing, which means it has to be in range of the zombies, right? I don't know. Um. Ugh. You have ammo. I'm gonna buy some ammo if you do. Shotgun parts, hunting rifle. Shotgun shells. If I had a non-pipe shotgun, I would consider getting this shotgun shells, but since I don't, it doesn't really matter. Because we saw how the Shotgun worked out the last couple of hordes. It didn't really let us do much, right? In fact, I might just go forged iron and get some robotic parts. Anything else I could buy first, though? I'm gonna look at some robotic parts then, since they're, I guess, sort of rare. Can make stuff with them later. Yep. Thanks for the business. Thank you, Jen. From dawn to dusk. Jen, Since, you're great. You know, Thanks for being alive. But uh, I probably won't see you again for a while, so later. All right, let's head home, fortify for the night, and prepare. And just like yesterday, what we might end up doing is just fortifying our... Uh, we might just start digging stuff, to be honest. Keep digging up iron and coal and such. That way we have it for when we move. Do 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 Driving my mini bike. Having a grand old time. Also, since it is Horde Night, we will want to bring the mini bike in with us. Let's start by dropping off all of our gear, emptying out the mini bike, and picking it up and taking it inside. Oop. Also, I could start boiling all this murky water, but I don't want to do that. Um, because if I did, I don't know why there's paper in there. What the hell? If I did that, then I feel as though. I would be losing out because there's also stuff I can make with murky water, so it's like all this stuff, you know. All right, let's go ahead and hit that. Everything that I can store in there, in there. And let's hit that. Do the same to that one. For that there, I'm gonna scrap that claw hammer since we have a better one now. Okay. Uh, let's take these robotic parts, put them there. I'm going to take like half of this iron and put it in there. Okay. I was like, what happened to all of my... That was just two ammo, but I was like, oh yeah, I hit that button, so it probably took away all of it. Okay. All right, AK-47. 
pretty sure you take 556, five, right? 762. Same difference. Lock and load. Ah, yeah, perfect. I am going to put my pipe rifle away now. It served me well, but the AK-47 fires faster. It doesn't require single reloads. Oh, I'm going to put my hunting knife. Ah, uh, not away yet. Pick up my pistol. All the pistol ammo. Have that. I would like to make a better pistol, but I think we're gonna be not doing that quite yet. Um, okay, we got a lot of ammunition here. Go ahead and store this flashlight. I think we're good on the horde. Just, just basically from the rifle alone, I think we'll be good. But you never know. So, why don't we also take Mr. Shotgun and uh, take my shotgun shells? Here it's loaded. Okay. Shotgun's gonna be the last resort, of course. Uh, we'll also bring my type of bombs. I can use those later. I have them. I might as well use them now, not uh, later. Right? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm feeling good. Feeling real good about this. Okay. Alright, so yeah. We haven't started building our new base yet, but that's, that's fine. You know, sometimes you win, you lose. We can start building it tomorrow. But first, let's take everything here. Pick up our motorbike. The door. Okay. Let's go ahead and store everything we can, first of all. One does. Down here, I'll just store everything else. Uh, I'm not even going to pay attention to what goes where. I'm just going to store it. I'm going to keep a cast, though. And one of those. Put a mini bike here, store the paper here. With a splint. Okay. I'm gonna keep the uh, first aid kit and the plaster cast just in case I need them for the horde night. Maybe we'll rearrange my hot bar after that to put the cast and the first aid kit down there, along with the bomb and whatnot. But for right now, we're not gonna worry too much about our hot bar and our inventory maintenance. We're gonna keep digging, getting more coal and stuff. So let's clear out a path. That'll help us get in and out easier. Okay. Make a nice little slope. Go. All right. More coal. Because we don't actually have coal in our original thing very much anyway. I don't like that the uh, colors aren't what they should be. Iron mixed in over there. I'm trying to dig around where we're gonna be going, but not seeing any more lead. Or not lead. Coal. Is that all the coal that we had? We got a little bit of coal actually. Hold on. Here we go. I guess it makes the same noise as stone. So. Yeah. 
The good news is we'll have a lot of iron after this, so... We should be able to make some good fortifications to our new base. And we'll probably even level up once or twice while we are building our new base, so that'll be great. Regenerate a little bit. And I could probably also put a modification on this. I think there was one or two that I might have that I can do on the base. my nice pathway, huh? I guess I can just jump it. Kind of. Uh, pick this up. i be able to do it now a little easier, at least. Never want to get too deep and then not have a way out, you know, because if a zombie could just drop in there um, and not give you a good chance to get out, right? So you gotta, you gotta watch it. Stone, get on top of that, I can jump out, perfect. How much actual coal do we have right now? 400, not bad. Not the greatest amount, but it's also nice that we get a little bit of stone while we're doing it too, right? Alright, we leveled up once. Alright, right. You know, this time I might actually get minor 69er. Just so we can destroy stuff a little bit faster, right? Use less energy. Yeah. This is Minor 69er does what again? Craft tier 3 quality tools, increases tool damage and block damage uh, with a pick, axe, chainsaw, shovel, auger. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that counts. I don't think it counts towards uh, sledgehammers, though. Fortunate. You can already tell, just from this, how much better it is to uh, mine that Miner 69er perk. Like, we did like, what, like four or five, maybe even six nodes before we had to rest to catch our breath, right? Pretty great. I think I can still get up from here, so that's good. Nope. Can I still do it now? Yep, in a weird way I can, but that's okay. Let's regenerate some mana while looking at the sky. Praise the sun and all that. We will definitely want to get out of this hole and finish our, our base before the horde comes. So around 2100, we probably want to get out. Maybe even sooner, probably 2000. Probably the best bet to do that. Because you can always wait a little bit, right? One hour is not a bad amount of time to wait, right? But if we get there too late, and we don't have our final defenses down, it could lead us to some trouble, right? 
Also, we'll have to, once we finish the horde, what we will want to do is, you know, pick and choose what we're going to take with us. Because we only have so much inventory space, right? So obviously we can't take everything that we have currently. Even just our ammo and stuff to make ammo would take up most of our inventory, right? So if we wanted to uh, do as few trips as possible, and maximize the amount of time we're going to be building our base. Uh, we'll want building materials and stuff first, like our concrete and all that. And then we don't have to worry too much about our building supplies, like our medical, I mean, and our gun stuff, and our materials for higher end building, like the gun parts and stuff, right? What we want to focus on is food and water, of course. A little bit of that. We don't need too much, just maybe one stack. Um, our building materials, our tools, just very basic stuff, right? We want to make some chests to store stuff in. All that, so... Yeah. It'll be great. You probably see what I'm talking about when I say it's kind of hard to tell what nodes is what down here because there's a lot of like gravel looking stuff and stone looking stuff and this looks like it could be iron but it's actually stone like right here this is sand for some reason kind of can't really tell what's what unless you, you mine a little bit of it anyway see oh yeah that's definitely iron even stuff looks like coal. Not necessarily coal, right? Because, I mean, this looks like coal, right? But it's, uh, coal. I'm trying to make a point, damn it. I don't need to be right. Like, even if we mine, like, right here, it looks like my crosshairs are over sand. But I'm hitting the dirt, right? Here was some of the sand here. Why don't you dig out the sand and stuff that's like between the ores? You can really see where everything's at. It really helps. Look at this. This is all coal. This is all iron. Oops. Not. No, my iron! Son of a bitch. Once you get down this low, this is where the iron nodes are really concentrated at. Up there, it's still a little bit. You're not too far down deep, but here, this is where the business is, right? This is where it gets dirty. Let's start mining. I find it nice to, you know, every so often when you see more jerk, just scoop it out. Get rid of it. That way you don't have to, you know, you know what you're hitting. You're not going to be confused. He's going to make things look nicer. Because there's not like four different textures trying to all blend together, you know? You also, be careful because uh, now we're getting to the point where there's all this dirt above where we're working. So it, it could be one of those things where we end up causing a collapse. Because the stuff above is too heavy, right? You got to be careful if you're not standing underneath stuff and mining upwards. Because that could result in your death. No? A little bit hasn't happened yet for me. Uh, stuff does collapse if it's not well supported. This includes buildings, um, this includes dirt and ores, stuff like that. As you already saw from some of the dirt that fell over there and whatnot. But... Yeah. Gotta be careful of where you're putting stuff. How strong and supported it is, all that kind of stuff. Because if you, uh, if you take out a load-bearing thing, things could be dropping. 
So it, it also matters what material it is as well, or at least it used to. For example, if you had like a uh, just a normal wooden frame, uh, and you like built out a ways, I think it would only support like three or four before you would have to like reinforce it, and, like actually make it a solid wooden block, and then it could go a little bit further, but solid, not. We're getting some sand, too. That's cool. I wish there wasn't sand, though. There. There. There we go. Now up there. Now up there. Okay. Cool. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff underneath these nodes. Just right to the taking. We already have a... What is that? A third of the stack? Of coal? So, we're getting a lot. I want to get some nitrate wouldn't be a bad idea while we're just mining stuff, right? We could do that. In fact, I might do that. Hold on. Yeah, we're real good on iron and coal right now. If we get some nitrate, we can make more gunpowder. Gotta be careful. This mine. You never know. I'm gonna get you. So let's see. The closest nitrate I have is right there. Make a quick waypoint. Yeah, right there. Okay. Ba -ba 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 Forgot I put my bike away. Hmm. Got to make sure that I have enough time to get back. So if we're going a little bit further away, it's a little bit riskier. We should be okay. Taking a drink. I also want this bird nest. No one here. This should be. Ah, it's like a tree. Got over it, huh? Well, let's take on this tree. We're not gonna get much wood from it since we uh, hit it with a hammer. Whatever. Dude, the white little dots here are nitrate. Usually they have a uh, like a solid rock over them, like one of those pokey white rocks that we saw before when we were exploring around. But because that tree generated, I think it erased that. But it still shows on the map, so that's great. And if you look at the recipe for gunpowder, we uh, do need a chemistry bench uh, to make it efficiently. But we can just craft it at a rate of two to two uh, here. Uh, we have a chemistry bench, which we can make uh, relatively quickly now that we have a beaker. It would take one to one. So we might actually hold off on making gunpowder until we're at our new base. Probably do that. For now, let's just go ahead and make a nice slope. Get out of here. I hate grass so much. I don't think anyone will ever understand my absolute hatred that is grass. Okay, that's my trait. Anytime, anytime there's grass in video games, I hate it. Minecraft, um, Seven Days, uh, other games that have grass. It just gets in the way. I guess any game that there's building or digging, I hate grass. That, that's probably better to say than just any game in general. Because if it's like Skyrim, for example, it looks neat. Like, no problem with that. Oh my god. We can, I, I just noticed, we can finally dig dirt by hitting it once. So good. Alright, let's get our stamina back. Ugh. Just shoveling once to get all that dirt gone is just so good. I love Miner 69ers so much. How are we looking on our ratio here? 
coal to nitrate. I think we already have some coal and maybe a little bit of nitrate, but I think we'll just kind of go one to one. Or at least even numbers for what we are doing right now. At least try to. Hey, yo, level up. Let's spend that while we're waiting here. So I can get another store of Miner 69er. Or I can get Mother Load. Um, you know what? I think since we haven't even found a chainsaw or an auger yet, I might actually get this one. That way when we do eventually find uh, the, the recipe to make an auger and a chainsaw, I can make a really good quality one. That'll be great. It's all just rock, gross, heat rock. Out of my way. Dirt. Out of here. Stone. What was that? Weird, like, textural glitch there. This is just stone, but it's got nitrate around it. That beautiful whiteness. And all this. Ah, uh, nitrate. Come on now. I think nitrate can be used for other stuff too, right? Like, uh antidotes, which we can't make yet, herbal stuff, and then a stack of a thousand gunpowder, which we need for our demo level expert, but... I feel like every night there's a uh, thunderstorm prior to seven day horde, right? Is that just me? I feel like every single time we've had a horde night, it's thundered a bit for the actual horde. Also, I think we will go back at 2000, like I thought, just since we are a little bit further away now. Uh, we also have to get our spikes and put them back, so. Our wooden spikes down there that I forgot. Oh, we're a little bit thirsty and hungry? Okay. I'm gonna finish off all this cornbread, and I think I'll also finish off the water at that point, too. Careful falling rocks. How are we looking? Not even halfway there yet. Okay. Thirst is gone. Excellent. Here and there. That one too, and that one too. Kind of messes up our pathway back up, but that's fine. There we go. All right. Keep mining. Under 69 will also be great when we do uh, go to build our base, because if we need more trees, we can easily cut them down. So it won't be too hard to deal with. What is this? Max stamina boost? Increase max stamina by 10. Yeah. Cool, cool. What increases your max health and stamina now? It used to be if you just uh, frequently ate good food, like if you ate uh, uh, the bacon and eggs, if you ate that a lot, you would get a little bit of extra stuff going towards your maximum health. I wonder just now, is it just levels? We got one hour left of daylight before we want to get back to base, so... Does it tell me maybe? No? Maybe I'll look it up. Here he is. So when we're waiting for Horde Night, we can look that up, see what it does. Okay, 
how are we looking on terms of matching this up? All right, we're a little bit under uh, the coal now, or we're, we're over the coal, but that's fine. I'm not gonna go all the way back to the coal hole just to mine a little bit more of that right now. Never have to have a little extra. Having actual means we just have to mine lots of it in the future. So. Great. See all the experience. Though. Love to see it. Four thousand, almost five thousand experience. Ah, oh, love it. Here we go. There's five thousand. And I'm only at a hundred and what twenty-five percent experience boost. Even go up like two hundred percent. So. One more node, and then we're gonna go back home. So this one's the last one. All right, let's get. Uh, it used to be when stuff broke like that, it would actually drop the resources so you could pick them up. I guess that's not the case anymore. All right, head on home. Right. I've, only, I've only thought that I searched two birds' nests. On the way there, I guess not. All right. Horde night is a coming. Finish our preparations. Take some butt. Everything that we can. Feather there. Are there? Why not? Um, store that and egg here. Why not? Store that there. All right. I'm also going to store my pickaxe, shovel, my wrench, sledgehammer, hammer, and that one there. That way we just have what we need when we need it. We're all ready to go. Our bomb there. I have everything ready, right? Good. We are prepared. Ready to go. Um, right, I do have pistol, which maybe I could put the noise reduction thing on the pistol. Can I? No. What is this for? I'm pretty sure I can't put the semi-auto or full-auto mods on the pistol. So never mind that. All right, it is getting to the point <coughs> where we need to eat a little more, drink a little more. Hardy, hardy, I say. Okay. Maybe just one more water. All right, we should be good now. Um, we need to get our wooden traps. I almost forgot. I think 10 should be enough to get us out of here. I'm gonna shut all these. All right, so place, place. Place, 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 place. Need one, two, three, four, five more. This is why we wanted to do it early, because if we were doing it last minute, we would be out on our butts 
came time to actually place these down. Maybe I should have got a hammer, though. I would have gotten my hammer. I, I can repair stuff, but... Honestly, we didn't even have much time to repair stuff before. I don't think we're going to worry about that uh, right now. So let's go ahead and get up here. Close our first hatch. That floor's a little damaged, but that's fine. So we have our cast in case we get an injury. We have our med kit in case we get hurt. We have a variety of different weapons. Um, in fact, I'm going to repair this pistol quick. Just since it is almost damaged there. Here we reload it. Okay. Everything's loaded and ready to go. So we'll start off with our assault rifle uh, to destroy people. And we should be able to get a good amount of kills with this because it is fully automatic. I'm going to try to fire it not automatic though and at least try to cap heads while we're at it because now that I don't have to worry about like single fire shotting, I can just, you know, empty six, 46 bullets into their skulls and whatnot. All right, we were going to check out and see what increases max health. That increased max health. Let's see. Increasing max health. Let's see, so before Alpha 17, you had to increase your wellness. Um, after 17, you need to increase your character level. Each level gains one health and caps at 200. Okay. Well, I suppose that, that does make sense since we are level, uh, level are we? 33? Yeah. Where's this heavy at? There we go, level 33, right. So yeah, it makes sense, okay. All right, are y'all ready? Ugh. We'll have a couple seconds left for Fortnite. Let's do this. Hopefully we can beat them down pretty quickly. And we can use the rest of the night to begin moving to our base. That'd be excellent. I already see the, the scars left in the lamp from where I dug stuff at. I'm going to remove that waypoint, by the way. All right, here we go. I'm not freaking bother crouching. Here they come. Here it comes. I'm not gonna fire until they're here. That's right. Break yourselves upon my stuff. Okay. They're down. I'm gonna reload real quick. Are they attacking the sides? Looks like it. Last time they all just kind of went for the main entrance, so... Kind of interesting to see them attack the wall outside. At least we'll get a lot of experience for this. That's nice. Reload. Almost walk off the edge there. I'm gonna look over here quick. He's dead, excellent. Anything else along the walls? We're almost through there though. Let's take them out quick. Nope, they're through.
Check the door quick. Dead. He's dead. Some boys over here. Flanked by those guys. So. There. Really wanted to get through that door, huh? Last mag. I think the biker's gonna take the rest of my ammo. Yep. Pistol time. the back wall here. Got a lot of loot bags. It's nice. worried about the dogs they can't climb ladders so through that, so let's go ahead and light this. Run away.
I know I have more ammo for the pistol, I'm just kind of saving for right now. Shotgun kind of spreads over people, right? Got to come clustered there so I can hit multiple at once. I think that's how it works. Oh, they broke that. Not nice of them. Not a normal shotgun, this would be so much easier. Okay, let's go ahead and drop some of them. That's all of them. Can't be too sure, so gonna jump off and start looting. Nice amount of loot. Freaking wood, man. Not wood, uh plants. Oh, I think we did all right for ourselves. We did pretty dang good. We might have used like all of our ammunition, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna scrap the stuff we don't need real quick. Mine helmet. Hmm. Go to the attachments before we can do that. All right. Grab, grab, modify, remove helmet light, grab, cool, we managed to survive the night, like no issues too, we had more of the 762 ammunition, we would have been pretty dang good, we wouldn't have even had to like, <laughs> I doubt they would have even broken in, to be honest. Okay, <laughs> so go ahead and I'm going to eat this, we are a little hungry, go ahead and eat this red tea as well, grab that, grab that, go ahead and store this stuff that we don't necessarily need right now, okay, Want some ammo, I'm going to store my shotgun shells, my shotgun, um, I'm going to store the, the rifle because I don't really need that right now. I'm going to go back to what I had before. Um, I should have some iron arrows, don't I? Or some steel arrows, I mean. Where did I put them? I know I made some, right? Better not. But I just have steel arrow heads. Hmm. Wouldn't store that away. Uh, let's go ahead and ah, oh, come on. Oh, I did have the arrowheads. There we go. I can use the bow if I need to. Let's go ahead and switch to steel arrowhead tips. I'll reload that. Healing. We'll toss these away. Put down our bandages here. Toss that in there. That. 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 that, that. Money for the other. Okay. What we're going to be taking now is the materials that we need to build a base. So we're going to be getting our door, our stuff for our forge crucible. We're going to be getting a cooking grill that we need to make our cooking pot. We're of course, we're going to take all of our raw materials that we need right now. Um, we will need to, of course, get our sledgehammer our normal hammer, get our wrench, also gonna get a shovel, our axe, our pickaxe, all the stuff we really need right now, basically. We'll of course need to get our mini bike in order to travel, first of all. Um, anything else I just really need from here, does not look like it. Moving on to our next area, let's make sure we don't have anything still in these. Okay, next we will grab the stuff that we need from here. 
namely all of our wood, our beaker, our cooking pot, all of our forged goods, um, the stuff, cement, sand, uh, the leather, duct tape, mechanical parts. Don't need the headlights right now. Must. Um, these rocks, cloth. Um, we'll take our cement. Right, any concrete mix. I need the mixer to make a concrete mix. That's unfortunate. Whatever. Let's see. Anything else down here? We got this leather. Um, any casino tokens right now? We need those right now. Plastic. This stuff. Grass. We might need. And don't forget, we have our storage in our mini bike as well that we can use. So we're just kind of getting what we need right now. And then I can use some of that a little later as well to store stuff. Okay, so we'll do that. And let's just go ahead and hit move all items. We'll, we'll just hit the take all button to take everything that we have a, a duplicate of. Um, so let's go ahead and hit that again. Make sure I don't have anything that I could, you know, that I can stack. All right. To the baseball bat in case we have to beat someone down, you know? I'm pretty sure that we're secured now, but I'm just gonna break these. Get them out of the way. I can't believe no one stepped on this one, though. It's kinda funny. Alright. Bike. Go here. Go ahead and store you. Actually, do you have full gas right now? Storage. Let's see. That's full. That's full. That's a full stack. That's a full stack. I'm gonna look for stuff that I cannot stack. Stuff like that, you know. I can get in here. I don't have another one of those. That's a full stack. That, that are full stacks. That's a full stack. That was all the plant fiber I had, all that stuff's maxed out. Okay. Alright. With that, our bike's full. Go ahead and get the rest of the stuff that we want to take with us. We'll need some food and water, of course. We cannot survive without food and water, so we'll take a stack of that. We'll take... I guess we're taking our raw meat and our eggs, along with a ping of bacon. So we need that. Like I said, we'll come back for all this stuff later, but where's the rest of the eggs I had? Okay. I think everything in this I don't need right now, so that's that's fine. Whatever. This stuff, um, let's take our gas, take our nitrate and our coal, take the pine cones so I can plant some trees. Take our rotting flesh, our oil, that, 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 that. Um, anything else I need? I'll take the wooden frames, might as well. Might as well take these tokens with us while we're here. Uh, looks good. Question is, what else to take right now? Yeah. I think right now we have pretty much everything we need, right? To like, at least start building. Um, I guess at this point we just take what we have to have, right? Dead rolls make that. I can make a new one. That's fine. I'm just going to pick it up just in case. Okay. And then let's take... It never hurts to take the medical supplies. Just in case we run into a scrap or something, you know. All right, so I'm just going to hit R on all this stuff. So it fills out everything that we have, and we're good now. Okay. I'm just going to leave the door open. It's not like it matters anymore. I can just close this hatch. Yep. I like how the mini bike waited until we got up here to fall over. All right. So our plan was, like I said, we know that there's a treasure map there, and... 
There's like another town over here-ish. So I think our plan would be live somewhere in that area. And we'll just set a quick waypoint. Uh, we'll explore the area a little bit, see if there's any opportune areas in that place. Maybe even like a, a pre-built house or something there. We're judging by the amount of stuff that we have. I think it might take us at least two more trips. Bring all of our stuff over. But we won't be doing another trip for a little bit here. Most of the stuff that we left behind was just our spare guns and weapons. Our um, parts to make higher end gear, stuff like that. We really don't need to worry too much about... I didn't realize I could scroll in and out here. We don't really need to worry too much about uh, what we're leaving behind right now, right? So we have what we need, absolutely need, and we will kind of go from there. Oh. In business. So what we'll start by doing first is we have uh, the stone frames with us in our inventory now. We'll, we'll start by placing down a foundation to kind of get the outline of how big we want our house to be. And we can always, you know, add on later, stuff like that. But it'll just help to give us a nice little... This is going to be the boundary area, right? It doesn't need to be too big. It just needs to hold all of our, you know, stuff like a forge and our boxes and stuff like that. We might actually want to divide it into two, like a front door area that has a lift up to a secondary floor, and then an internal area that has all of our stuff stored into it. And that's just because if we have, you know, the stuff all stored in one room, the zombies could get in, they could potentially break everything and cause it to destroy all of our items. So. That would not be great. And that's just like the worst case scenario if we do happen to end up running into a situation where we get breached. Because just now our front door got hit, but that was because it was an unupgraded, you know, like basic metal door. Now we have a vault door. So the vault door can take a good amount of hits before it breaks. Even if last night's horde all went to the front door. I think we could have stopped them before they break through a... Oh. Didn't expect to see this here. Let's just keep going to the marker. Half what we can. We're not going to be building in this biome, that's for sure. Is that a giant bear over there? Something else. That's a bear. Okay. Let's just keep going north. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. I thought that was the bear following us. I was going to be like, oh! Never mind. It's just a, just a vulture. Whew. Okay. Come on. Find some bitch. Oops. Too early. Are you kidding me, vulture boy? Did I really just hit the frickin' plant? This is why we bring medical supplies with us. This is not how I was expecting this to go. Yep. Okay, so, got a burning forest here, which is not ideal. Um, we're probably going to have to build, like, right here. Unless we want to, like, map out how far across the burning forest goes. We could do, but if it's biome, it's going to be pretty far. So. Or this isn't a burning forest, it's a destroyed city. The burning forest looks a little bit different. goes pretty far. 
going to stay on the edge of it for now. If we go too deep, we're going to end up affecting potential bears or other stuff. It, it goes for a long ways. Um, we'll probably just go back here. Start building. It, it is near that one cowboy town. But... So let me go ahead and mark the trader here. Okay. Go back. So we'll just kind of skirt along the edge until we hit the uh, good biome. Forest. That way we can grow stuff. And don't have to worry about, I guess, bears in the city. We didn't really have much of this place scoped out before. We got some iron. We got more iron. Looks like coal. Okay. We have nitrate. We have nitrate over here. Excellent. We also have some in the desert there, it looks like. Okay. Let's, let's get this last little square of stuff mapped. Further south. There we go. Everything's mapped. Okay. So. Yeah. Right around here might be a good choice. We're a little bit away from that bird's nest, I think. Like right here would be good. Yeah. I'm really feeling this place right here. So let's go ahead and start by making a floor we can stand on. Kind of get a lay of the land. So I think we go about this wide, right? And keep in mind, we're going to surround this with another layer of walls. So this is going to be our actual floor space. Okay. I have this here, and let's continue to build a nice floor for us to live on. Okay, yeah, this looks like a good, good start. Okay. We'll expand a little bit further. Oh, did I have exactly the amount that I wanted? Perfect. So this looks good. Oh, uh, what we'll do now, go ahead and make all the concrete shapes we can. That's going to take a long time, never mind. Um, forge box requires nails, crap, okay. What do I need for the forge? I need clay and duct tape, which is in the car here. So let's go ahead and start um, by just... Building this floor. We can also upgrade this to cobblestone if we wanted as well. If we wanted to have a uh, nice cobble floor. We could also reinforce it, which would be great. Also give us a decent amount of experience too, so that'll be helpful. Yeah, even though it's a purple hammer, it sure does not build stuff faster. Still just two hits. I think the, uh, the pneumatic drill or pneumatic hammer, whatever the hell it is, I think that can do it in one hit, but... done that. Let's go back to our bike and open the inventory. So I needed duct tape and I needed clay. So I'll exchange these two items and I can make a forge, which I don't have room for. So uh, 
Why do I just have these normally ass bandages? Get rid of those. Wow, I wasted an inventory slot. Damn. We'll do that. And let's make another one too. To have it. And then work bench. I need 25 forged iron. Do I have 25 forged iron? Not that one. Forged, 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 forged. I have 22. We're gonna have to get our furnace running first. Okay. That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this back corner. And then let's go ahead and throw in all this iron. And we'll throw in our clay. And also need to throw in some wood. Turn that bad boy on. And I can also grab from here the bellows, the anvil, and I'm gonna exchange eggs for the crucible. Okay. So if I look at these, what do they do again? Increase crafting speed. This one, harder to craft steel, steel arrowheads, and bulletproof glass. Toss that in there. And the last one was bellows, which smelting speed is increased. Okay. Let's do that. This one I'm going to put here. I'm going to put my bed right about there for right now. And so this one I'm going to use for iron and stuff like that. This one I'll use for, for stone, stuff like that. That way I can get cement from it, of course. Let's go ahead and put... And there, we'll just do that. I was going to dedicate one to making uh, that stuff. Alright. Next up, let's get uh, another stack of wood. Get a stack of stone since we spent it away. And then our iron here. Um, uh, what else for the workbench? I need mechanical parts. Crap, I need a claw hammer or a wrench. Right. Is I need so much forged iron again. Damn it, I keep doing that. Regardless, let's go over here and craft some nails. How many storage boxes do I need? How many storage boxes do the nails take? 10. So let's make 40. Crap. All right. Take this boy down. Okay, the steel arrow flew like really fast. I was not expecting that. Oh, this, one, this one's way too at this point. Let me just take this guy out normally. Just a skinny boy. Okay. okay. Those are done. Yes, make four. And then. Uh, Concrete shapes. Make 55 of those. Start getting the uh, the outer reaches ready. Start crafting the forged iron while we're at it. Okay. Go ahead and put the storage crates here and here. Crap. I want the writable storage crates. Well, these two are just gonna have to be unnamed. Concrete shapes, do it again. All right, so put our first concrete shape right there. What do we need to upgrade this? Okay. Steel, okay. I'm assuming the steel turns into a Steel shape. Okay. Works, I guess. And then I can put that on top and put that on top. This one I'll write down um, tools, guns, and ammo. I don't know why it did not. There, anyway. For the tools, I'm going to go ahead and store in our actual tools that we're going to use here later. I don't have anything for ammo yet. This chest down here 
This one's going to be our medical stuff. Kind of keeping the same uh, way that we had things before, right? Where our medical was on the right of our food. That way I don't forget. No. And then this will be our materials chest. Let's go ahead and store all the materials that we have. Even though I need to use some of them a little later. Uh, I was going to think about using that. I think I'll hold off for now. That there. Okay. The tokens down there. I guess we got our food chest, so let's go ahead and store that in there. Okay. Begin with the foundation. The walls. How's this looking? Pretty good. I'm making some of this. I'm making cement. Let's get the rest of our stuff out of here and we can sort it. Our materials. Let's do that, that, the steel. Move this stuff down here so I remember to get rid of it. Um, we have the egg and we have that, 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 that. Wood. Yeah, I'm gonna put the stone down here too. Yeah, stone I don't use too much anymore. Uh, think about it. Um, I'm gonna put the tree stuff down here. Medical food. Workbench was mechanical parts, wood, forged iron. And I also needed to make a wrench, which was forged iron mechanical parts and duct tape. Let's take our duct tape. And then a hammer, which is forged iron, wood, leather, leather. Okay. And let's go ahead and place our cement mixer right there. Asphalt, huh? Ooh, I could actually make some asphalt. I'm not going to, though. The concrete mix. I need cement, stone, and sand. So let's grab our sand, cement. There we have stone. So let's go ahead and make as much of that as we can. Mix it. Oh, hey, bud. You scared me for a second. Sorry about that. Also need to make a campfire. that okay make a claw hammer and make a wrench I keep concrete and cement they're just like so interchangeable for me I just keep forgetting like which is which all right so let's real quick I want to change the shape of this into stairs around me okay I'll go ahead and put the door let's off center it a little bit I can go ahead and change these back into concrete and then I can put down the vault door here no shit that's not what I wanted to do can I pick this up after I place it down no God, okay. That's rough. How much does it take to damage this? A lot. Okay. I need cement to fix it. So that's great. Well, let's just repair these stairs then. This is going to be a bit of a pain. So now I'm going to have to adjust my up here a little bit. So I guess we're going to go like this. And do it that way. But you know, it might actually be a better way of doing it. Now that I think about it. 
because it will cause the zombies to attack this stuff and not necessarily the stuff around the doors, I, I guess. It, it might help reinforce that a little bit, but it's kind of displeasing that I ended up doing that. Um, so we needed a fire. I will place over uh, here, I suppose. I can place the grill and that in there. What does the uh, thing do? Pencil for cooking that. I think antibiotics and the herbal stuff is all that I can really use the beaker for here. So well, that's fine. So, workbench. I just need that. I'm actually going to store my um, hammer and wrench in here so it doesn't eat the wrong ones. You know, I want to accidentally eat those. So, that's still melting stuff down. How are these looking? I still got stone. Actually, since I have, I have more stone here, right? Yeah. Break this up and add it into here. There go. Get a lot of stone going. Make some more cement out of that. Then over here, we'll make some more forged iron again. Make that wrench, come on. What's nice is I can use the crafting bench to actually, like, passively make things as well. So, I can get the, uh, if I can get the workbench down, I can make the first stuff that I need, first of all. And then I can use it to craft up some other things. I mean... Come on, just give me the freaking wrench already. You're killing me here. I drop. Ooh. Over there, huh? Pretty close to that treasure, and it's in the desert, so I think we will go after that. But I'd like to get at least some stuff going here first. I'll try and do that. I'm gonna keep hitting cement first instead of concrete. It's gonna keep happening, so I hope y'all are ready for that. Nice. All right. Chemistry station. Requires three cooking pots, five bottles of acid. I'm gonna make some cooking pots, huh? Go ahead and make three of those quick. And then I have everything else except for the hundred forged iron that I need. So I think we're gonna be at this for a little while. So I might actually just put this stuff down. Um, beaker, those, and the 30 short iron pipe, which... I don't think I even need to carry these with me anymore since I don't have pipe weapons anymore that I'm carrying around all the time. And then uh, forged iron, which uh, we get paid. All right, so let's just store this stuff kind of here. No, this is the this is the chemistry bench, right? So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and store the rest of the stuff that I don't really need right now. And I think I can also I don't need stone to repair anything, right? So I might as well just flip this up and get all of that going, you know. Um, what do I repair with this? The repair kit, repair kit, repair kit, repair kit, bone. I think all my tools now are just repair kits, so. Yep, yep, yep. Don't even really need this forged iron, so I can just go ahead and dump all this there. Can't do all of it, but at least try to do some. 
which means now I have a lot of extra space for stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put the concrete that there. All right, let's go ahead and start my storage. Actually, let's go ahead and open up this first and then refuel. Now I can go ahead and, well, I'm actually not going to do that quite yet. If I were to put the fuel in there, it would just be an extra space taken up, right? Twenty one seconds, okay. So I'm gonna go grab a shovel. And what we'll do is I think we will go ahead and loot this stuff after the bench finishes up here. Because when the bench finishes, I can also assign it to do stuff. I think if I get that. It takes forever to make cement, by the way. Concrete, whatever. Same difference. So this we can put here. And if I go concrete shapes, that, I can have it start crafting 23. Well, I'm also crafting 32. So, cool. All right, let's go ahead and grab the airdrop and also dig up that treasure. Not as well since we're in the area. And our furnaces and our crafting bench will continue to craft stuff while we're away. And actually, let's go ahead and pick that active quest. It's just in the neighborhood. Okay, so we'll, we'll swing around to get the airdrop, swing around, get the treasure, and then swing back home. Now, is that town there? Does it have anything good, or is it also one of the stupid towns? Crawler. One of those uh, western... Oh, another town over there, too. We got some industrial stuff over there, I see. Cool. Where'd it go? There it is. Got it! One hit. Hell yeah. Eat a dick. We got, oh, forged iron and aloe vera seed recipe. Nice. I will take the forged iron. Like, thank you. Rattlesnake there. Alright. And here we are. We'll get a lot of sand as well, which we're lacking. Currently. So let's go ahead and start digging in the middle. Oh, look how easy this is now that we have a Minor 69er that can just allow us to one hit all this. Getting closer to the treasure. I'm just going to dig around a bunch at the top until it narrows it down a little bit more. We need sand anyway, so it never hurts. Also, it gives us an easy escape if we uh, need it. It's almost in the dead center, huh? That guy's a little close for my liking. Got him. Okay. I think we'll dig another layer down. Gotta make a weird looking quarry thing, right? I think it's going to be over on this side. There it is. Hello there, treasure cache. And it's locked, of course. And I pick it. Have we had one that's been locked before? Was the other treasure map one locked? Doesn't seem like it's going to break on us, at least. That's nice. 
I've been completed. Any zombinos or birds want to fuck me while I'm looking at the stuff? Got a decent amount of ammunition. We got some shotgun parts. It's cool. Got some gold, which we can sell. Very nice, very nice. Um, do I know how to make aloe seeds? I do. Might as well save those for right now. So there was the other treasure. But that one is... Way to the east, so I'm just going to go home for now. Man, we we are in the desert with three cities, fairly close to us. Um, and then there's also the city that's to the east of the base. Not bad. We we're in a good spot now. I really like this place. It's gonna be a good home for us to live in. Also, I think I want to build a land claim block, put it down here. That way zombies can't spawn in the immediate area of our base, right? Might use it as one of the blocks for the second floor, though. I think that little mound right there, I think that's nitrate. Also that one over there, that's nitrate. Alright, let's park in front. Shh. Easy. Alright. And now... Oops. Go ahead and exchange our shovel for... Uh, I, don't, I guess I don't need the hammer right now, do I? Uh, maybe we should make another chest for, like, stuff to sell. That can be useful. More forged iron, baby. First of all, let's go ahead and store our ammunition in here that we do not need right now. Uh, Gunpowder materials. We'll store our parts here. Um, actually, you know what? Cancel that. And let's get let's get, let's get rid of that. Um, make me ten nails, and then the rest forged iron. Okay. Now let's make a writable storage box. Blend. Concrete shapes, make more. So I'm gonna place down another uh, <clears throat> crate here. And this one, I'm just gonna put on top of this. All right, right. Stuff to sell. Yo. So anything that I want to sell or things like that, I'm just gonna toss into here. That way we have it all in one chest and it's not clogging up the rest of our stuff, right? So almost there to where we need to be. Excellent. I might put this clay that I picked up into the furnace here as well. One. Oh wait, I need stone, don't I? There we go. That'll be good. Go ahead and make more concrete mix. There we go. <clears throat> God dang. Take what we can from over there. Throw the sand here over here and make more concrete shapes. Oop. I'm not even going to use them in my inventory, because if I do, then it's just going to take up space. So we'll go ahead and store this stuff here, I think. Aloe, I'm going to put in there. Okay. Let's go ahead and put down more of these. Finish making at least the perimeter of our base here. <clears throat> Ideally, it would be nice to that. get a second layer done, so we actually have uh, the door be a door. Get rid of this tree. Too close to the base. Let's take that there. Punch that twig. Excellent. Now let's finish that. And 
this as well. There we go. We'll leave a space on top of the door so I can put something like right above it, like uh, that, and then we can use that to shoot down at the zombies who get near the door, right? Okay. So with this, our outer layer consists of full concrete. Everything's going to be gooshy here. Ideally, I would like another, like a second layer of concrete surrounding our base here. So that way the door is definitely the weak point and they're not going to try to bash through the walls and stuff. Uh, that's three dogs. Four dogs. They just have a puppy when I saw one of them. Oh, God. Hmm. I, I, was, I was thinking for a second, oh, what if I put windows, but then... It was too late. I can't take the shake back. Here. Do this. I might put a little window. Did I put a window? No. It's going to be a full bunker. That's all it's going to be. No windows. Easy. Okay. So with this... We have a, uh, a nice little base going. Everything's looking decent, right? Let's go and eat this bacon. Drink some water. Okay, there we go, perfect. Okay. So I think with this, we now have enough to make our chemistry workstation. Boop, and concrete. Here we go, I hit it the first time. Grab that. And now we have plenty of spare materials left for uh, other stuff. So we'll have our chemistry workstation up, and that'll be great. Uh, do I still have any more frames? I don't think I do, so. Frame shape, let's make, not 2,000. Let's go ahead and make like 25. And then we'll make four ladders. Okay, so here's the the plan for this. Since we've already kind of got stuff overlapping here, what I think we'll do is we'll place this here, that here, and then we're gonna go like this, I think. That look good for like our first room where everything's gonna be at, and there's gonna be a ladder to the second floor. And then this area can be for more stuff. I don't know if I wanna leave. I don't know if I wanna do that or do this. What looks better, would you say? Having a little bit more space here make it look better, or having this, is this too small? I think we'll go with this just because it looks better for the exterior there. I'm just going to build these normal wood because it's not going to matter too much if the zombies get in here because I'm going to be during Horde Nights up top. So they're not going to try to get through this door, hopefully. They're going to be trying to get through the uh, other areas. Although maybe... What if I put a ladder here and a ladder over there, though? Huh? That way uh, I could put bars here and shoot zombies. But then if they get through, it's going to be a pain. So I'm not going to do that. Never mind. I can put bars here, though. <laughs> anyway. Let's go ahead and... One more here for the door. Pop. Okay. Done, and I got my ladders here. I think I put the ladder right there, so I'll need a couple of more. Okay. Can I get it? Nope. Up in there. Let's grab those. Do, 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 So let's go ahead and go one, two. I'm just gonna build up that corner there, and then there, just so I have that, and there's one more right there. And then once it's so high, I think we can go ahead and 
are making this floor not too much to worry about. The zombies aren't going to be able to hit the sides of the wall at this point, right? So uh, even even here, I don't think they can hit the side of the wall, but there they might be able to if they jump on top of stuff, right? So what we'll do is I'll do... Well, actually, let me take a look, right? So the zombies will be here. There'll be a layer of traps here, so they'll be hitting here at least, right? So I can do one more up. Right? Okay, so place that, 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 that. And then frame. Let's go ahead and actually make 100. Why not? Okay. So we're up here. Perfect. So here, we can just go ahead and make frames. That'll be how this goes. And then we can also do another layer here. Do I need um hmm. if I can make a vault hash quick. I count the parts. Vault hash, craft. It's gonna take a while, but I'll be able to build it. Don't you worry? Pretty little heads. Okay. So, how much forged iron do we have right now? We have quite a bit. Go ahead and make some forged steel then. Start crafting that and pumping that baby out. Um, let's go ahead and break up some of our wood to put it in there so that can at least be used if we need it. I'm gonna put one more round of cement here, and I think we should be good. Right, the timing block there. Okay. <clears throat> All right, excellent. So, we can go ahead and put some frames around here then. Finish our house at least. With the bottom holes there open, that we can place the cement there to reinforce that area. What is that, that I just got? Warming fire. You were warmed by the fire. Oh, yeah, too much, huh? the roof, or I guess the, the next floor that it's going to be. I don't like how close these dogs are. It's very disconcerting. Of course I missed. Got it, but didn't kill it. Okay. this one off by a little. Let's try here. Got it. We're running now. Got it. We're going to do it. And kind of a good test to see where it's coming to attack at, right? Let's be Get out of here. Some dog. We'll have to be careful of being outside now. 
Because since we are so close to that uh, desert city, or that not a city, but destroyed city, we uh, we will have to deal with the dogs. That sucks. So. I'm not even going to bother dismantling them because they just have rotten flesh on them, so it's whatever. At least want a roof here, so if we do get like attacked by um, vultures, I'm not gonna get my head bitten off. I'll have a safe place to just hide from them. Okay, and the final touch here. Thank God I'm doing this with wood and not cement now. Okay. I even put the bed down here in this little alcove as well. I think it's fine where it's at now, though. A little fire damage is all. All right. Good, looking good. Oh, that was actually the perfect amount of frames. Holy crap. Although not, I guess, perfect because we still want to do stuff over here as well. That's fine. plan will be for this little area we'll put uh, we'll try and put the the bars over it right and then we'll also put bars here so when the, the enemies come to attack they'll have an area I can just easily look down at and just scope their heads it'll be so perfect so good and then I figure for around here we'll put more uh, traps and stuff and kind of make it so the zombies have a nice little area to be trapped into, right? Um, I'm also thinking about making like a kill hallway here um, to where the zombies are completely unobstructed, but there's like electric traps and stuff like that that they have to go through, kind of like a gauntlet. And that's also kind of why I'm thinking about patting up the walls on the sides, because if it's too easy for them to get through the sides, they'll just do that, like I've said before, right? Um, so, okay. Also, I need to make another door. I'm just going to make it a very simple wooden door for this one. And I'm just going to reinforce it just for the heck of it. Okay. Perfect. How's this stuff look? Okay, let's go ahead and craft a little bit more. I'll make it more. Perfect, perfect. Add another thing there. And concrete, right? Concrete shapes? Yep, okay. Let's build even more. Still two minutes left on that, huh? Materials, we'll store this stuff in here. Toss that in there. No, no I didn't want to do that, damn it. Okay. Go ahead and drink. Another little sippy of our water. Maybe two more sippies, actually. That in there, and I don't really have anything to cook right now, except for bacon and eggs, I guess, right? Um, kind of two of those. I could boil meat, but... Uh, hmm... Because that is the question. Do I want to boil meat or hold out for potatoes and eggs and stuff like that? I could also potentially, next time I level up, get the next chef level. 
And that way I could unlock more like soup recipes and stuff like that, right? But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that right now. I'm just gonna store I did not take the bacon in. Okay. For now I'll just leave this stuff here. I'm gonna store the water as well. I don't need that right now. Um tools, I'll store this, that. I'm gonna hold on to this stuff just in case I need it when I'm out and about. Um, and what we'll do is sure it's it's night, but uh, we're gonna go back to base. Our, our initial base, that is. And we're going to you know, freaking dog right there. Bring our second trip back. Because I mean, right now we're just waiting for stuff to finish building. That's, that's really our bottleneck right now, is waiting for the concrete to finish and the chemistry station to finish. And all that good stuff. And once we finish the chemistry station, we can actually start making gunpowder there. Now let's make sure we turn to the left here. So we don't run over the landmines. It is nice that we're basically just right up the road. Oh, so that's, that's good. So we departed around... 2200, just a little bit before 2200. Let's see how long it takes to get to our base. Our old base, that is. Because we will save a lot of time. You know? Is that a spider monkey? It is. Hey, bud. Loser! Okay. 30 minutes, and we're getting pretty close since the town is here. Da -da -da -da. And we also know that the uh, our, our new base is like two kilometers away from our old one, roughly. Or take. Almost an hour has passed. This will be a useful uh, use of the night here as well. Uh, building and retrieving our stuffs. We won't just be sitting around doing nothing or dealing with, you know, zombies that want to eat our brains, you know. We'll be able to actually make progress towards our new base. It'll be excellent. First, before we go into the base, I want to actually harvest our materials here. That's part of the reason why I bought the sledgehammer back, too. So I can use the bat for this. I can probably just punch him, right? Yeah, let's just punch him. Now, I haven't actually been doing much gardening. Um, because it was so far away from the base, I was just like, whatever. You know, whatever, man. But, if we can get these back home, I want to try something out. Because I'm not sure if these need to be outside, or if it's just the fact that they were, like, below ground level that I couldn't plant stuff on them, you know? I'd like to see what deal was. If we can plant them on like a second level of our house, that'd be really cool, I think. Put them back up here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open up our storage. I'm gonna toss all this stuff in here for now. Let's go grab our loot. Yum. All right, so all that stuff is whatever. Grab all of our materials. And grab the rest of that. 
go ahead and grab all that. And keep in mind, we do have the bike that we still have stuff that we can put stuff into, right? Yeah. Um, for everything, perfect. Excellent. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this cotton. I can find cotton elsewhere. Uh, I already have this aloe. I'm gonna keep the aloe seeds. Don't get me wrong. Yucca seed, yucca fruit. I might actually just drop the yucca fruit too. I do want to keep the potato because I have not yet been able to make a potato seed. Uh, have I? What? How did I get potatoes? Did I not get a potato seed from the last time? Oh, whatever. Toss this hatch in there, toss this stuff in there. Um, let's actually eat this tuna. And we'll also eat the lamb rations, since we are hungry for it. And we can also scrap that. And scrap that battery. Level 1 battery, we don't really need that, I don't think. Um, we have snowballs we can get rid of. Okay. Let's get the rest of our loot, shall we? Yeah, there we go. Alright. We got all that. We got all that now. Is there anything that I... There was a potato in my bike. I can put that in there. Stack that up. Um, there's coffee beans, which I can get rid of. I don't need those. I have plenty of that. I find all the time. Um, I don't really need this glass now that I'm looking at it, though. But even, even if I do... Uh, get rid of some extra stuff. I'm still going to be having to do another trip here, so it's not really going to save me too much time if I don't choose to get around, but I know I have some golden rod in there, which will give me another space, right? Might as well move all you can when you can, right? Bike, open. Um, move all stuff to there. Okay. All that's in there now. I have two extra slots. I honestly don't think I want to go down there again just to get two extra things, so we're going to go ahead and head back home to the new base. Also, I forgot to check how long it took to get here. Uh, less than two hours since we're going back at um, 0.30. La 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 la. But hopefully, once we get back, our chemistry station will be done, which means we can place that down. And we don't have to worry about that too much. We'll also hopefully have more cement blocks done. Means we can place those and finish up our first initial wall. And we can work on the second and stuff. We'll have to think about it though. But we can't pick up the cement blocks, unfortunately. We'll have to actually think about what we want to do, you know? Oh, man, I was going to put a land claim block on the second floor. I forgot. Oh well. I can still do it. It's whatever. I really wish I had a motorcycle or a 4x4 right about now, you know? Out of the way, zombies. Honk, honk. I wish I could honk at him. Pretty cool, right? That zombie really wants me. He's still running after me, damn. Should be getting almost home. Maybe. 
My judge of distance is not that great right now. I think it's dark. Well, there's a military base. Yeah, we're almost there. Good way to point the map down. It has junk loot, but it, uh, at least someplace that we can be like, oh yeah, that's nearby. I can't believe that military base almost killed us last time, too. Like, first we just get ambushed by a bunch of people. More than should have been there. Then we have the dog get us. We break our leg. Oh, speaking of dog. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Okay. Where'd it go? Doggo. I know you're out there somewhere still. There it is. Take it down, because if we go outside again to get our loot, it's probably going to try and attack us. There we go. One hit. Wasn't a stealth one, though. Really? All right, here he goes, attacking my dang door again. Here, can you stop? Can you not? Okay, and that's taken care of. Boop. Let's store our goods. Food, water, water. I forgot about the water down here. Materials for that. I'm just gonna toss everything in for right now. I can reorganize stuff later. Might as well throw the feathers in there. Gunpowder and pages will go here though. Stuff to sell will go up there. Forgot about this line. Uh, go. All right. What do you guys got for me? A forged iron. Excellent. A forged steel. Whatever. Same diff. Really. Think about it. Cement. Means I will take these and do another batch of this. Mix that baby. put these down here to be on. Okay. Next over here we have the stuff done. Nice. Okay. Crafty shapes. Make more. Right, so let's take this and this and this. I'm gonna go ahead and get the materials and put that here as well. Okay. So I could put the chemistry workbench right here. Maybe. Oh, it's three wide. Never mind. So yeah, it, it's perfect width right there. Excellent. And let's go ahead and break up some stuff to put there. So we can make gas, glue, um, you're a super corn, huh? Make gunpowder, lead batteries, oil, paint, paper. What's paper? Wood, glue, and water. Huh? Everything's water. All right, well, for now, let's take out our nitrate and our coal, and we'll start producing a bunch of gunpowder. It's gonna take an hour all that. Let's go ahead and store that back. We're going to have so much gunpowder, it's not even going to be a problem anymore. Let's go ahead and store that there. And then if I can jump up here and... I'm pretty sure this is the right orientation of the hatch, right? Because those are the hinges back there. It means it'll open up that way, right? So if I do this, it'll be good. Yeah, okay. Then let's make like 10 frame shapes for the concrete away so it's hidden. These down here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, go to that, make these. Okay. First of all, I wanna put this here. That way I don't go further than what we have there, right? You have to like look up when you're um, climbing, right? So that's a fucking bear. Oh, 
Um. Oh my god, my uh, my good rifle's not here. I don't have my AK. Yeah, that's bad. Sure, the bear is attacking my door now. Attacking something. Need you to die, Mr. Bear. on these guys. Hit my door. Knock it off. Seriously, I feel like my iron arrows were better. Didn't it feel like that? My, my, my own guy going, Hua! made me think that I was getting attacked for a second there or something. Um, I have, the meter's not moving down. Okay. I thought for a second I was going to get lucky and find a glitch that I can just grab a bunch of stuff with. But nope. I didn't. Okay. Pair the door. This deal that I got there. Uh, materials go here. Engine. There's no one to sell this just tossed around to the guy. Have this here. Medical supplies go here. Um drinks can go over here. More the food and the golden rod tea. Uh, I'm just going to throw potatoes in here for now. I'm just going to put the seeds here. This stuff will go over here. Okay. So, um, what are these called? Farm plot. Farm plot block. I need nitrate, clay, and rotten flesh, so rotten flesh, nitrate, and all my clay is being burned right now, so go ahead and take that out, and uh, I can make 32, 35, you know what, I might as well use it all, because I don't think rotten flesh can be used for anything else that I can use right now, and then I'll just put my clay back here, let's go ahead and make more forged uh, steel. Oh, I'm out of sand. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's look at what I can do with this stuff quick.
So much concrete. Okay. How about this? Oh, we're still making it. Okay. Don't mind me then. Okay, so if we type in seed... I need... Yeah, I need another level of... That, huh? Okay. What level am I? I'm here, so why don't I go ahead and get... Living off the lands next... Never mind. I can't. Unless I really want to do that, huh? Uh, okay. Well, instead of that... What if we... What do I want to get now, I guess, is the question. I think we're pretty much maxed out on everything that we have that would be things we can easily get here, right? So I, I could just dump these two points that I have into intellect. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, I need two points for that one now? Bruh. Killing me here. Gain ex wait, I gain experience when using bandages? Really? And to heal more over time. You craft chemistry stations, first aid bandages, and plaster casts, huh? Interesting. Better barter, better deals. Vessel chest, uh, inspirational, doesn't matter. Damn, well, that was a waste of a point right now, then. Uh, let's see, what else could we get right now? Um, anything? I don't really want to do anything here. Um, more damage with the AK. That could be useful. I'm not going to lie. Uh, what do I need for this? Level 3 in this one? God, maybe I just save the point, though. I don't know. Ugh, too many choices. Too many choices! I'm getting overloaded! Okay, um, let's go ahead. I'm just gonna put another point in here. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get living off the land um, once I can for right now. But for right now, I think we'll go ahead and just wrap things up quick. Uh, I need to take a piss, so we're gonna end things from there. So, yeah. We made some good progress today, though. That was good. Uh,. I'm gonna turn all these into seeds, just have them. Okay. And store the rest of the stuff that I can't use there. So that's a seed, that's a seed, that's a seed. Can't do anything with these yet, so I'm gonna move these down here. Maybe one day I can make seeds out of corn and stuff, but now's not that day. All right, we can organize all this stuff later. Um, I think we still have a couple of things left to get. But anyway, I think that'll be all for us for right now, everyone. But we made some good progress. We got a chemistry station up and running. We got a, a much stronger base door now, at least. What do we need to reinforce this? Steel? You know what? Why not? We have plenty of steel right now. Let's let's get this bad boy up. Yeah. Reinforced. That's the strongest door we can possibly have. So, gonna be good. All right. Let's pause before things start wasting time, right? Let's go and get out of here. So thank you all for watching. This was a good one. Next time, we'll continue to expand our base. We'll probably actually loot a little more. Uh, there's two working, three working stiffs that we haven't looted in that town nearby. So we'll loot those possibly. Uh, maybe do the quest we have for the guy nearby there. And then, you know, continue building the base at night or continue moving stuff around at night, all that kind of good stuff. But regardless, we're making progress. So look forward to progress next time too. Until then, bye for now.